construction and working of DC motor. Have you ever wondered how the electric shaver works? How electric toys like small robots, toy cars, etc. work? The answer to all the above questions is DC motor. A DC motor is the device that converts DC electrical energy into mechanical energy. In order to understand the working of a DC motor, we have first explained the construction and assembly of a DC motor. Let's first understand the construction of a DC motor. Magnetic frame or yoke. This part acts as a protective cover for the machines and protects the machine from any outside disturbances. It houses field system and supports the armature through bearings. Stator magnets. They are basically electromagnets with such an arrangement so that adjacent poles have opposite polarity. They perform the function of producing the magnetic field. Armature It is a system of conductors or coil which is free to rotate on the supported bearings. The armature consists of various parts. We will take each part one by one. To start with, we have Armature Core. It is made up of high permeability thin silicon content steel laminations. And the outer periphery of the core has slots to carry armature windings. Next is armature winding. It is generally made up of copper wires and is wound over the armature core. Commutator The commutator is cylindrical in shape and is made of copper. It performs two basic functions, one being collecting the current from the armature conductor and the other being converting the alternating current of the armature into the unidirectional current in the external circuit with the help of brushes. Brushes they are usually made of carbon or graphite. And the main function of brushes is to collect current from moving commutator. Shaft Shaft is a rotating part of DC motor. We obtain the final output in the form of mechanical energy from the shaft. The armature is mounted over the shaft. Now we will see the assembling of DC motor. We can now observe in the animation how this motor is practically assembled. Now, after the construction and assembling of DC motor, we will discuss the working in detail. Now, when the battery is connected to the DC motor, the current starts flowing through the armature. A force is developed in the armature due to the influence of magnetic field of the stator, whose direction is given by Fleming's left-hand rule. Now, due to the development of this force, in each armature conductor, the armature will rotate in the clockwise direction and as a result, the shaft will also rotate. Finally, the output power in the form of mechanical energy is obtained from the shaft, which is evident from the movement of fan in the animation. <laughs>